Dozens of calls are being made in Cuyahoga County from aging residents and their families who need help. Yeah, it comes as the older population continues to grow here at home and around the country. Kristen Volk is live on five from the control room. And Kristen, you're learning that self-neglect, that makes up a majority of the cases that the county actually investigates. Yeah, and that, Frank, is followed by abuse and exploitation. The county says the number of self-neglect cases are so high that family members have nowhere else to turn. Ready to go eat? This is the new normal for Teresa and her niece. There we go. Around the clock care at a Westlake Senior Living Center for the 86 year old. A far cry from just a year ago when Teresa was still living on her own in this near West Side neighborhood, a place she had been for more than 50 years. Because there were many times when I broke down crying because I didn't want this to happen. It was the thought of her aunt losing her beloved independence that really tore Nancy Leahy up. But Teresa was starting to get very forgettable, and that turned into others exploiting her for money. That was a major concern. There's no slowdown. We're constantly going out on cases before you have a chance to fully investigate another one. You've got another one on, in your box waiting to start up. Carol Beezies is one of 25 case managers for the county's Division of Senior and Adult Services. She stepped in to help Leahy and her aunt as she does with so many others in need for a variety of reasons. There's also concerns about neglect by family members that have their older adults living in their house. In the past three years, the county has assisted nearly 6,000 Cuyahoga County residents with issues of neglect, abuse, and exploitation, among others. It has received tens of thousands of more calls for help with transportation, meals, and social service programs. I had to do something to help protect her. Carol Beasy, the case manager in our story, tells me there's also a great need for guardians for seniors, especially as the client has no family or little money. And last year, the county spent $4.5 million on services for our aging population. Frank?